So here we have a plasmid on the left. We're going to linearize it. Remember, plasmids are circular, double-stranded DNA molecules that exist in bacteria apart from the actual chromosome. They're a lot smaller. If I treat with a restriction enzyme that cuts this plasmid open at one site, I end up with a linear piece of DNA with sticky ends. Now, I've got these cDNAs, and I don't really want to cut those, but I do want them to have sticky ends. So what I do is I synthetically produce what's called a linker, which has the same sequence of bases that would be recognized by the restriction enzyme I intend to use, and I ligate them to the cDNAs, and I get this array of cDNAs, each with synthetic DNA on either side that contains a restriction endonuclease site. So I've used DNA ligase to stick them together, and hopefully that's what I get. And now if I treat this material with the same restriction enzyme, I will indeed get double-stranded cDNAs with sticky ends. Now I can add these two end products together. Like so, the set of sticky ends on the cDNAs, which I created synthetically, and those on the plasmid, which I created simply by digesting the plasmid, will come together. And now I can add DNA ligase again, and I get plasmids with inserts. And if I do this in just the right way, I get plasmids with all the different possible cDNAs representing all the different messenger RNAs that were isolable from these red blood cells. These are then all recombinant plasmids, each with, we say, a different insert cDNA, a different insert.